Hello everyone, welcome to the channel once again. This is the channel where I review anything and everything. If I need it, I'll buy it, I'll use it, and I will review it. Today I have for you an unboxing and hands-on review of an item. You guys can probably guess what that is right there at Everlast. This item is one of the items that I am looking forward to to attach to my squat rack well you can't really call it an attachment it's more like an accessory but I'm gonna call it an attachment because I am going to hang it directly on my squat rack so let's open it up and take a look at the item inside here we go I am going to grab my scissors open it up i got this one from my local sporting goods here which is the um, big five sporting goods this one was actually on sale when i got it it was below a hundred dollars so i went for it all right, I'll be giving you the details of this item towards the end of this video. Looks like there's a chain here. And for those of you who are familiar with this item, you might already know how these things go. All right, can you guys guess what it is yet? Let's take it out completely. Here we go. All right. Pull it Ooh. some more. Oh. All right, there it is an Everlast one hundred pound punching bag. As mentioned earlier, this is one of the items that I look forward to to attach or hang onto my squat rack. If you guys want to know what squat rack I'm talking about, just check out my channel and find that video. It is by uh, Sunny Health and Fitness Squat Rack. Alright, what I'm going to do now is I am going to hang the squat rack or not the squat rack but the punching bag up there hopefully it will work out if it doesn't then I'm gonna have to find something in order for it to work all right we'll catch you guys later I'll be right back one item that I purchased along with the punching bag is this strap right here by Everlast. This one is supposed to be able to hold all the way up to 100 pounds but I'm hoping it's able to hold more than 100 pounds. This is the uh, heavy duty strap that they have right here. So this one should be able to hold the punching bag and I should be able to get to working on that so let's open this one also I am not sure how long this one is going to be so right here here of course is the manual and instruction um, I'm gonna check this one out so that I'll know how to loop it around my pull-up bar looks pretty sturdy feels pretty sturdy all right so it looks like you wrap this and then this one will be the one to hold all right sounds fairly simple enough so let's mount this up and let's take a look just some specs 
about the punching bag here this specific one is at amazon.com the one i got i got from big five sporting goods here in town the chain that mine came with i did not end up using it it's about eight inches in length i just used the clip that came with the two rings here to attach mine to a clip that also came with the strap that i bought that i loop around the um, pull-up bars this four strap is pretty strong pretty sturdy the t uh, stitching is also pretty sturdy and so uh, strong this one right here the loop that you see there is actually at the bottom of the bag that one is there so that in case the bags gets too swingy when you're punching and kicking it you can tie the bag down for more stability uh, mine really doesn't swing as much but if it does come to that i'll just tie it to a weight plate and that should help stabilize the bag uh, there are there there was a review that i read about a customer that um, bought the bag and his bag broke after five weeks so i don't know if he just got a defective uh, one uh, or not but be aware of that that is there and of course the rest of the reviews were pretty good pretty de decent and here are some uh, product information there the height of the bag is about four feet or 48.5 inches and then the circumference is 13.75 inches 100 pounds of course uh, the brand name is everlast the website gives a 120 days of warranty and the model name again is neva tier i got the red and black combo because it matches with my bench and the material of this particular bag is synthetic. All right, there it is. Finally, I got the punching bag mounted or hang to my squat rack. It took about 45 minutes for it to finally get up there i had to figure out some stuff because that i had to figure out that that uh, loop right there this particular item needs to be wrapped as tight as you can to the pull and then the strap right here needs to be as short as possible and that took quite a bit to figure out just to get this bag right here to the height that i want it right so let me show you guys how i had to get that bag to finally mount up there so i had to use this table and then i had to use this bench right so i would put the bag i would slip this under the um, pull-up bar right and i would put the bag on this table and then i would climb on this bench and i would get the bottom of the bag hang over here or put it over here and i would be on top of this thing right here to where i could just get this bag to the height that i want it so finally it's there man picking up 100 pound of bag is not as easy as it looks uh, let me show you guys the punching bag that i had that i am upgraded from it's this one right here uh, i took krav maga in santa clara california for two years while i was living there and as you can see this bag right here you need a sparring partner for you to get some punches and kicks in um, i don't really have that here in town so i considered and i thought maybe i can get a squat rack that i can hang a punching bag on and there it is
So let me just give you guys a closer look at the stitching of this bag right here. Uh, it is pretty durable. It is pretty solid. There is a zipper over here. I'm guessing that's what they used to get the filler or the stuff inside. This material right here is pretty solid. It's pretty hard, pretty tough. It's not pure leather. It's some sort of a synthetic material, but I think this is good enough for my uses. So my hands-on and first impression review of this bag, it's good. I'm going to put it to the test, put it to the workout that I do, and then I'm going to come back and give you guys a full review on it. And after that, a long-term review. So please feel free to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned. We'll see you guys in the next one.